And the next question is from Brother Samir Sam. Brother Samir is asking the question that is tattoo haram in Islam? Please answer. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Sahih Bukhari, verse number 7, Hadith number 5943, that Ibn Masood, may Allah be pleased with him, said that Allah curses the woman who practices tattooing and who gets tattooing done on herself. And the woman that removes the hair from the face and the eyebrows, etc. And the woman who makes artificial gaps between her teeth to look beautiful or changes the structure what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given her. And will I not curse those women who the Prophet has cursed or Allah has cursed in his book? This hadith is very clear cut. Sahih Bukhari, poem number 7, hadith number 5943. A similar message is given in Sahih Muslim, poem number 5, hadith number 5573, that Ibn Masood, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that may Allah curse the woman that practices tattooing and the woman that does tattooing on herself. So based on these two hadith, both of them are in the Sayyid, it is Muttafiq alayh. The highest category of hadith is a hadith which is available in Sayyid Bukhari and Sayyid Muslim. It is the highest category of Sayyid. It says very clearly that doing tattooing, practicing tattooing or having tattoo done on yourself, both are haram. And Allah curses such people. Tattooing means you take a needle and you inject dyes. One of the commonest ways is that you take out blood and in place of the blood you put a dye, maybe blue color or any other color. This is called tattooing. But tattooing, if it is permanent, it's called tattooing. So anything which is permanent, you inject a dye and you put a color, whether it be blue color, red color, any color, and you make a design or whatever it is, and that dye becomes permanent part of your skin. This type of permanent tattooing is haram in Islam. It's not permitted. But if it is done on a temporary basis, for example, you use henna or you use mendi or any color which is temporary for a few days, then that is permissible. Especially henna is permissible, mehendi, you do a design. As long as the design that you're doing with henna, with mehendi or any other temporary color, it is not against Islam, it should not be an image of an animal or a human being. As long as it doesn't break the rule of the Islamic Sharia, it's permitted. But permanent method with a needle injecting dye or there are new methods now, if it's permanent color using any sort of design, if it's permanent, it is changing the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is prohibited in Islam.